Big Bang Theory star Kate Micucci is recovering from a recent surgery for lung cancer. The actress says doctors caught the cancer early, adding that the diagnosis was a surprise since she's never smoked a cigarette in her life. Research shows lung cancer cases have risen among women, especially in recent years, even those who never smoked. Tonight, we're looking into how common it is for non-smokers to be diagnosed with lung cancer and what puts a person at risk beyond smoking. It's long been known that those who smoke now or in the past are at higher risk for lung cancer, but people who don't smoke can be diagnosed with it too. Upwards of 20%, especially of women who get lung cancer are never smokers. The American Cancer Society says exposure to secondhand smoke, pollution, family history and other factors can contribute to lung cancer diagnosis. But there's not always a clear culprit, says Dr. James Finnegan with National Jewish Health. Most of the people we see who have, uh, who are non-smokers who get lung cancer don't have a documented other cause. According to the nonprofit Women's Health Access Matters, lung cancer cases among women have skyrocketed 84% over the past 42 years, while dropping among men. The organization says non-smoking women are more than two times more likely to get lung cancer than men who don't smoke. It can be hard to catch because a lot of these people are asymptomatic. But there are red flags to watch out for, including a persistent cough that won't go away, coughing up blood, and unexplained weight loss. This is not an epidemic of people who get lung cancer who are non-smokers, but it definitely happens. Taking care of yourself, following up with your doctor, you know, those are all good things to do. Finnegan says if you are a smoker, of course, the best thing you can do for your health is to quit and get screened every year. With advances in treatment, he says catch catching this cancer early significantly improves outcomes for patients. Well, a former NBA star